Hey everyone, I'm pissed off today. I was stolen from and I'm making this video to stand up for myself, but also so that other creators don't get bullied like this. Fortnite has a problem. The season is great. There's a lot of new players playing. There's a lot of new fans watching the stream, but there is a underground kind of hidden away toxic part of the community that I need to expose. Specifically today, we're going to be talking about one person's behavior that I am not going to let slide. And honestly, I'm actually shocked that this person did this considering how successful they already are. So this person is bullying people on the Fortnite discovery tab. Let me explain what that is. So in Fortnite, people make creative maps and they're discovered in the discovery tab. There's a bunch of maps here ranging from all kinds of different genres. This one right here, survival games, probably one of the best maps that recently came out. And there is some good stuff that people are making, but most people still play the simple practice maps like the pit or red versus blue or zone wars. And there are some maps out there that are a little clickbaity and a little bit weird, but Epic has done a decent job so far. But what we're talking about today is not clickbait or spammy maps. We're talking about actual theft. Well, why would someone steal in Fortnite creative? The reality is a lot of these maps are making a ton of money and Epic has reinvested into the creative ecosystem and people are able to make successful maps and that can be their full-time job. So when there's money involved, people sometimes get a little shady and that is what I personally experienced. So people obviously love playing practice maps and a new style of practice map appeared over the last week. A lot of people love playing box PVP so someone created a box PVP map that incorporates hero abilities and it is popping off. It has 42.8 thousand players right now. So as you guys know, a few weeks ago, we released our own superhero map called Super City, but it had a ton of bugs that we were not aware of. And we have been spending the last two to three weeks pretty much just trying to fix all the bugs so the map can be playable. But that's not what we're talking about today. What we're talking about today is red versus blue. This is a super popular genre in Fortnite creative. And one person in particular has two of the biggest red versus blue maps out there. Crazy red versus blue and red versus blue rumble. So no one owns the red versus blue genre. And with this heroes trend happening, there is heroes tilted towers, heroes box PVP, heroes free for all. So we thought it would be smart to take the custom heroes that we made for Super City and throw them in a classic red versus blue format. And listen, this wasn't even a crazy map. We weren't even going to promote this on socials. We were just going to make it and put it out there for people to play. And honestly, it's such a simple concept that it only took us two days to really put this together. Obviously, we put a lot more time into actually making the superpowers, but that was already made. So transferring it wasn't that hard. And obviously every Fortnite map has a thumbnail. So we made this thumbnail right here. And we obviously made this pretty quickly because we already had the power emblems, but we wanted to show off that it was a red versus blue and there is custom abilities on the map. So once we finished the map, we launched it and I was on stream playing with my viewers and everyone was having a ton of fun and the map ended up getting a few hundred players. And this was a really good start to the Fortnite map. And then I went to bed. When I woke up this morning, I was completely shocked at what I saw. The creator of the top two red versus blue maps in Fortnite had overnight created a new map called Superhero Red versus Blue. But listen, even though that's kind of weird, he is allowed to make his own competing map, but he completely stole our thumbnail. All these custom hero emblems that my team worked hard on the entire thumbnail itself, he just copy and pasted it so that people would think that his map is my map. He then even promoted this new map using my thumbnail that my team made in both of his top maps that have tens of thousands of players. So obviously his new map ended up getting more players than our map with the stolen thumbnail. This is completely ridiculous. This guy already is super successful with two maps that have over 10,000 players most of the day. He felt so threatened that we were making a red versus blue that he decided to completely steal our art and work. So now when people hop on Fortnite Creative and see this thumbnail, they might think that it's my map when it's actually not. And now obviously he can't copy the coding that we did for our unique heroes, which are actually really well done. 
So he decided to make some very rushed superpowers that aren't really powers at all. But he only did this so that he can try to suppress our map. And honestly, that's where he fucked up. Because we weren't planning to promote this map. It was a silly red versus blue that we decided to make because Super City was taking very long to fix. So we thought, why not use the powers that we worked hard on and just throw them in a team deathmatch? But now I'm going to make it personal because this could happen to other smaller creators. If you try to compete in a big category, some of the big guys could potentially do this to you. And it's definitely happened, but the reason why we haven't heard about this is because it happened to people who don't have a platform who can come out and say that this happened. So what do we do about this? Well, I already told Epic about this, but now I need your help. It's Labor Day weekend, so a lot of people are off from work and school. This map is actually super fun. The powers that we put in this are actually unique and custom. It would mean the world to me if everyone watching right now hopped on Fortnite and went to this map and just checked it out so that we can get this map back on top and prove to this person that stealing and theft will not be tolerated. Like I said, I wasn't planning to promote this map, but when you decided to steal from my artists, you forced my hand and now I'm calling in the troops. I need all of you guys today to hop on and check out this map. It's actually a ton of fun, especially if you enjoy Team Deathmatch. All the powers are custom, and I want to show that bullying and stealing in Fortnite Discovery does not always work. The future of Fortnite Creative is really bright, but let's try to get some of these gremlins and bad actors out of here. I know I don't usually make videos like this, but I appreciate the support, and thank you guys so much for watching.